Now we're going to move on to the cable connection and show you how it is connected with a cable connection if you wish to with this 10 meter cable that's included in the packaging. So for connecting it with a cable what you do is you take the 10 meter cable you have on the cable you have one end with the two plugs one end with the three plugs so the end with the three plugs goes to the back of your car to the camera with the two plugs goes to the front so now at the front what you do is you take yellow and red cable and it goes yellow to yellow red to red that's how you're connecting it to the monitor, that's it. You see the difference here now is we do not use any power cables separately for the monitor since it's going to take the 12 volts from the back of your car. So that's the big difference that when you're connecting it with a cable connection you do not need separate power input from the dashboard or from the cigarette lighter. But in that case what you do now is you just have to move the whole 10 meter cable through your car. Once we are at the back of your car, you have now three cables, three plugs. So, I'm going to remove now the transmitter. So, as for the cable connection, what you do here is, again, very simple, three plugs. You take yellow to yellow. You take this black to the red. It's only one way to connect it. Just plug it in here. And now the third one we're going to use the power source from the reverse light of your car and what happens here is once you plug it in the camera goes on, it beeps and the monitor turns on as well so the connection with this particular monitor as you can see now is red to red, yellow to yellow here we go two cables to the camera, one to the power source so that's how you're connecting it uh, with the cable connection, this monitor. This monitor has also again uh, works the same way, red to red, yellow to yellow. And again, you need to switch the top button to change the input mode. That's it. Once it's changed, again, then you can see that monitor is on. Uh, this, is the, this is basically the short demo how you're connecting it uh, with the cable connection and now this little filter fuse box usually you do not need it but in what cases do you use it? you use it only in a case when you get a picture that is not clear or the picture is flickering then instead of this cable you use the filter box it connects the same way black and red plus and minus exactly the same way you're connecting it it just stabilizes the picture itself. Usually you don't need it, but if needed, then it's also included in the packaging. So, so that's it for today, for this video. Thank you very much and until next time.